6am spin class I cannot believe we got three bottles good morning clearly I am much more awake now your girl actually woke up and went to a 6am spin class today do not ask me what I was thinking when I booked it I do not know but once I had already booked it it was too late for me to cancel I kind of had to go because otherwise they would have deducted the money anyway and I was not gonna be happy with that so I went to the class and guess what I think I already showed you. They gave us free Lululemon bottles. Like, what on earth? That was a very, very lovely surprise. It felt so satisfying. I love it. Loved it. My inner that girl is screaming right now. And I had to go for the white one because I just I just think it looks so aesthetic and so pretty. There was pink, there was black, there was like a rainbow one, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Or am I like a little confused because it was too early in the morning. I can't remember. But I will say it has been a very long time since I've been to a class because obviously I went away, then I came back, I've been doing home workouts ever since. And your body, it goes back to square one so quickly. I struggled today, like I struggled, like I really struggled. I still powered through, felt amazing afterwards. Had a cheeky breakfast, well kind of breakfast, like a post-workout kind of breakfast. After that, I managed to give in my laptop, finally. <sighs> I've already heard back from them and it's only been a few hours and I think the repairs are gonna be quite, quite expensive and I don't know what to do right now. I think I'm probably gonna like dwell on it for the rest of the day and then see what our plan of action is but it's really heartbreaking because it was brand new and because of that we're gonna have to spend a nice old day today do a little bit of self-care make us feel better feel positive because we don't want to feel sad about our poor poor laptop okay i'm gonna have to just ignore that for now how's your day been bestie i hope it's been well also ta -da! i done my nails this week i haven't had long nails in such a long long time i did them myself i always follow the queen of do your own nails at home michelle khan they always turn out so amazing and they last so long so really happy with those Whew, there was a lot of talking i feel like sometimes when i get really excited i talk really fast and then i get out of breath it is time for a morning coffee and if you haven't realized we've got a new addition to our family Ta -da! can you see can you see i have been obsessed with my new espresso machine i feel like everything is complete now i think we all know my morning breakfast and coffee are so important to me because it's everything to me my morning routine is my baby it's everything it makes me feel so good so positive do you know what else makes me feel really good knowing that my morning coffee has 25 percent of my recommended daily vitamin b12 intake Thank you to Nespresso for kindly sponsoring this portion of the video. If you're wondering what I'm talking about, Nespresso have kindly sent me the new addition to their functional line, which is the Virtua Vivida capsules, and I just can't. Not only does it taste amazing, because I'm not even kidding, it is so good, but it's also nice knowing that my morning coffee has the added pack of some vitamin B12 to help support normal new functioning, which is amazing, we love that. And can we just have a moment for the pink? Like, it matches my nails. Mm. Nothing will beat 
the first sip of coffee. So I'm just gonna sit down and enjoy my delicious coffee, have a little me time, do a little bit of journaling. If you do wanna check out the Vivida capsules, I will have all of the information down below, so make sure to go and check that out because you are not gonna wanna miss this bestie. It is literally the best addition to your wellness and morning routine. With that being said, thank you so much to Nespresso once again for sponsoring this portion of the video. And can I just say thank you to you guys as well because this wouldn't be happening if it wasn't for you. And thinking about that, even just thinking about that makes my heart so full. I love you guys and I love you too. <laughs> to go for something really quick and easy because to be honest I was gonna make some pancakes but then I was like yeah I just can't be asked. I've been in a little bit of a boring mood where I don't really want to experiment with any like foods and I just want to stick to like the same things. Literally been having the same egg white oatmeal for breakfast, either like a granola or like a protein bar bowl or a Weetabix for lunch and then some sort of tofu or chicken bowl for dinner and I've been probably having that most nights and I feel like I'm in one of those phases. And the strawberries, the strawberries have been getting me. I feel like a changed woman now that I have strawberries. But it's good. I literally don't know what happened to my taste buds. I also don't think that anything can beat Coco's. Mmm. The best. Usually this is a time where I will have some sort of podcast or something on to watch or listen to in the background. I have been listening to more podcasts these days. I've been listening to the Rebecca Lee podcast. I hope I said that right. The Wellness Cafe. The Health Cafe with Vanessa Tiu. My classics like the Huberman Lab podcast. Yeah, I've just been really into my podcasts again. And I won't lie, I have been binging Remy Ashton and Alicia Marie's vlogs these days. I've also been binging all of their podcast episodes, which I have been loving so much. Yeah, I think I've pretty much watched all of them now. Also, you guys have sent so many recommendations on who to watch and who to try out for like some workout inspiration. I've been loving it. I've been reading all of your comments and I cannot wait to try them all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, this is so good. I swear it feels so nice when you like come home and wash your face and take off all your makeup even if it's like early in like the day I will still take my makeup off as soon as I'm home lit myself a candle gonna get on with some work now I feel like that really helps set the vibe to like get productive and do some work also found that it's really nice to put your phone under like a clock or an alarm or anything that you have because I have a habit of just like picking up my phone looking at my screen being like has anyone messaged or anything and I'm putting it back down and I do that so many times Times without even realizing and then I remember seeing somewhere but I don't exactly remember where but they were putting it under their alarm clock so that way when I look over to kind of go on my phone and check I'm like oh it's 1 30 it's only been five minutes I'm gonna give myself another 15 slash 20 minutes before I check my phone and then I get back to work and it kind of keeps me like accountable so top tip for you there also got myself a little snack bowl I might have already started digging into it have some apples we've got a I think this was called like a donut Donut peach? Was it a flat peach or a donut peach? Very nice, very nice. Some pretzels, which I only have a few left, and a protein bar. I am usually a misfit or a my protein girl, but I decided to give free soul a go because I do love trying new stuff. We all know this. Also have a live study with me sesh going on down here and another tip to keep you accountable is really nice because it feels like you're working with a friend which I know I could possibly do online via like Zoom or FaceTime but 
I would get distracted. Okay, let's be realistic. I'd get distracted, so let's go. Mm. I hate histology with a passion. Anything that involves microscopes, count me out. Count me out. my color p.s this is your reminder to go and put on a face mask time for some dinner and i think i'm gonna have a nice little pasta night tonight on my own i don't think anything quite sets the mood aside from some white wine and also some taylor swift Cacio Pepe is done. Moments like these on my own just hit different. Mm, so, so good. Little moments like these are actually so special because I feel like we're so used to relying on other people to have a fun time and like, you know, spend a special night in. But you can honestly do it on your own and have a blast as well. Like I had such a calm and relaxing and fun time tonight. And all I had to do was blast on some music that I love, make some food and pour myself a nice cheeky cup of wine. But the thing is, you can do it with anything that you love. And I used to think to myself, like, am I, am I feeling lonely? Like, I spend so much time away from friends. And I do love spending my time with friends and family. But I also realised I... I love my solitude. I love the time that I spend with myself as well. And it's just about having a little bit of both and realising that you can have a nice night on your own. You know what I mean? I feel like I'm rambling around the same thing, but I, I think you get the gist. Anyways guys, we've had a lovely night to end off the vlog and my battery is about to die because it's flashing red. So I'm gonna end off the video here and I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog or video and I hope to see you guys soon. Bye!